Hi, good evening, guys. Uh, I hope you all are good and fine. As less you are preparing for the board exam. So uh, last day we have already discussed about back of world algorithm, and today we are here to discuss about the next topic that is EFI DF. This is basically called term frequency inverse frequency. Okay. So this uh, topic is basically having the same part of back of words that means uh, you have already gone through it. Uh, we got uh, a corpus basically three four sentences or a paragraph then very first we will make a dictionary and then uh, find a document vector and then repeat same vector for all documents so like uh, in the previous class we have discussed the sentence is um, I like oranges, bananas, good food. Yes, uh, like guys, you have uh, told me in the last videos. So please uh, teach us with the help of books. So they will be teaching you. And uh, one more thing, beta. Tomorrow uh, you are English exam. Okay. So maybe. Uh, yes. I hope uh, you will be back at your home around uh, 1 or 2 p.m. Take relax. Uh, feel comfortable. Okay. Take your lunch, whatever you have, and then uh, around 3 or 4 pm, we'll start uh, revising the syllabus for your for exam. That is on 28th. So, very first, what we will do, uh, maybe I will upload this video today only. Just read it first, learn it. If any problem, we'll discuss after the whole time. Then, we'll start in, uh, revising the things from the start. The very first entrepreneurship and then uh, green skills and then we will focus NVP and finally evaluation after that uh, we will do a uh, sample paper as well as discuss some question what type of question can we ask in the exam okay so don't worry uh, everything will be covered on time before that and I hope all of you got good marks so tomorrow we will start very first entrepreneurship and green skill around 4 p.m. Okay. 4 to 6 will find out then uh, from 7 pm to 9 pm, maximum 7 to 9, we will find up all these things and help you in evaluation. Okay, as well as we will discuss some questions, sample papers. Okay, so this is uh, TFIDF, term frequency, inverse of frequency. So we got three documents. Okay, we make a corpus, document 1, 2, and 3. All these three documents is called corpus. Okay. Now create a dictionary, find out the not unique words. I like or this also bananas, but are good for health. And we got this vector. I1, like one, orange one, also zero and zero. Same, the another one is also uh, I also like bananas. So uh, I1, like one, orange is zero, also one, bananas one is also zero. That means if the word is in the document, it is one, if not, then zero. Now the topic is started. So you got few sentences, then uh, you, exam in exam question can be asked, find out the TFIDF, okay. So what you will do, very first you follow the three steps of back words, that is here, okay. We will make a dictionary, then we will find out the vector document, and we repeat for all documents. This TFIDF, this method is considered better than back words, just because BOW back words gives a numeric vector of each word in document, but TFTF through its numerical value tell us which word is important and which is not. Okay, if word is not important, don't waste your time there. Focus on the important word. Okay. So how we will do this? So a uh, TF idea was introduced as statistical measures of important words in document. Each word in a document is a given a numeric value. Like we know machine work, machine on, machine on this. So we got all these things in a number four. The very first is term frequency. Term frequency is the frequency of a word in one document. For example, the very first uh, sentence is I like oranges. Okay, so term frequency of I is one, like is one, oranges is one. Just because all these words are coming one time. But if I got a sentence like Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Now Johnny is repeating two times. So Johnny become two. Yes, one. Clear? So it's depend on the one word 
how much time this is available in the same place is called top frequency okay so this is top frequency i1 like one on this one these are the top frequency document wise this is document one document two and document three now document frequency document frequency is the number of documents in which the words occurs in which the words occurs irrespective of how many times it has occurred in those documents it is shown below you can for example a word which is coming in all documents okay like i i is coming the first and second so i become two like again two or just two this is called document frequency in normal language koi bhi word kitne documents mein aa raha hai this is called document frequency i document 1 mein bhi aa raha hai i document 2 mein bhi aa raha hai 3 mein nahi aa raha so df become 2 1 1 2 oranges 1 Bananas one two. Okay, this is called document frequency. Our next one is inverse document frequency. This is document frequency. This is inverse document frequency. Inverse document frequency is obtained when document frequency is in the denominator. The total number of document is under numerator. Total number of document we find from here. This is how many? Three. One, two, and three. And then we have document frequency. This is i for i it's two for like it's two or just for two. So for i it's become three upon two. Like become three upon two because document frequency is this one as well as in denominator and total number of documents is three is a numerator. Clear? So formula for this is T F I D F W four world. For example, if I'm calculating for i, so I write T F I D F I equals to T F I into log I D F. This is I D F inverse document frequency. What you will do? Just put the value in this formula. Document document wise, like this is one. So one into T F W term frequency. How many will be? One into log I D F. Log how much is I D F? How much I D F is? Three point two. This become one into log three point two. So, ऐसे ही जैसे हमारे पास कोई और और वर्ड है हमारे लाइक ऑरेंजेस दिस इज वन टाइम रिपीट हो रहा है तो वन इंटू लॉग आई डी एफ कितना ऑरेंज का थ्री पॉइंट टू तो लॉग ओके सेम फॉर नेक्स्ट और ऐसे में एक मिलेगा एक हमें वैल्यू मिल जाएगी नॉट नेसेसरी टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ लॉग इफ दिस इज गिवन यू क्वेश्चन पेपर पेन डाउन इट एज यू कैन लीव द क्वेश्चन हेयर एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ टी आई एफ टी एफ ब्रेक्स और इम्पोर्टेंट एग्जाम में आ सकता है डॉक्यूमेंट क्लासिफिकेशंस के लिए हम लोग टी एफ आई यूज करते हैं टॉपिक मॉडलिंग में यूज करते हैं इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्राइवल सिस्टम में करते हैं स्टॉप और प्रिंटिंग में भी हम इसको यूज करते हैं ठीक है दीज आर द्लीकेशन ऑफ टी एफ आई एन एल टी के द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज टूल किट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज ओपन सोर्स एन एल टूल किट दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ पाइथन लाइब्रेरीज एंड इज यूज फॉर बिल्डिंग प्रोग्राम्स दैट हेल्प इन सिंथेटिस एंड रिसर्जिकल analysis of human language processing bit of sir padhna full form is not necessary not good okay my sir se bahar ki baat hai but you have to learn about what is nltk this is natural language toolkit so this is beta uh, the chapter okay now next chapter is evolution so i hope you remember we have learned a uh, few stages in a period cycle and this evolution is the last stage of So model evolution is the last stage of a project development cycle. It is a stage of testing the model. Whatever we have made, now it's time to test it out whether it's working or not. Where testing data is given to the system and the output generated is evaluated with the actual result. If good, then good. If not, then not. But why we require evaluation? So, e okay. Uh, so this is the very first case. Prediction is made by machine. Prediction may be yes or no. If prediction said yes, machine said yes, so this is a positive sign. If machine said no, so this become a negative sign. Clear? So this is called yes positive. If no negative. Machine said yes, this is positive, or this is a uh, yes prediction. If machine said no, then prediction become negative. Now this is reality. Now we will check: Is there fire? If you see that is a fire, this become true. If you see that there is no fire, it become false. 
So in the first case, this photo shows us fire and uh, there's a forest. So prediction machine ne kariye yes, there's a fire. So reality me what we have seen yes, there's a fire. So this become true positive. This positive is coming from this side prediction and this is true from reality. So if reality true, it yes is true. If reality false, it's false. If machine said plus, matlab yes positive, it's become positive. If machine said no, it's become negative. So here we can see in the picture that a forest fire has been broken out of the forest. The model predict yes. Machine kya kya hai? Yes, fire hai. And reality mein kya hai? Fire bhi hai. This become true positive. In second case, is there a forest fire? Machine ne kaha no. As well as machine said no, the, this become negative. Now we will check whether there is a fire or not. We have seen there is no fire. That is, machine said correct. So reality, no fire. Prediction may fire hai. So this become true. Okay. True kyo? Because the reality match from the data. This become true. In third case, here is a fire. No fire in the forest. Hence, the reality is no. In this case, the machine 2 has predicted it correctly as a no. Therefore, this condition termed as true negative. Now, this third condition is case 3. Is there a forest fire? What we have seen? No fire. Machine ne kya Prediction ka yes. Machine said fire hai. But reality mein fire hai? No. So this become false. Machine ne to yes ka hai. It's a sign of positiveness. But reality mein it's false. This become false positive. Okay. Next one is here the reality is that there is no forest fire. But the machine has incorrectly predicted that there is a forest fire. Okay. This case term is false. Now last, is there a forest fire? Machine said no. But in reality this is fire. This become false negative. Clear? And if someone asks which is a too much dangerous or uh, uh, you know dangerous things in all these four points you will say it's false positive. Okay. Now, what we have discussed True, false, negative, positive. On the basis of all these things, we have some numerical in this chapter, and this numerical is based on confusion matrix. Which matrix? Confusion matrix. Now, name said confusion. If you're not, uh, you know, reading it sincerely, you're not learning it. You got too many type of confusion in this topic. So, be careful. Read it properly. Pen down the notes. Try the some questions. Then you will be able to do that. Confusion matrix definition exam में पूछी जाती है one marks में काफी बार इसको याद कर लेना Confusion matrix is a tabular structure which helps in measuring the performance of an AI model using test data. We have two types of data test data and training data. Test data means by which we are testing the machine and training data by which we are training the machine. So training data and test data need to be different. Okay. Now look here. This is called confusion matrix. From this to this is confusion matrix. This is prediction. Jo machine ne kaha hai. This is reality. Reality. Jo hum check kar So machine will always say yes and no. And reality mein kya hua? Yes and no. Or we can write true or false. Clear? So look here. If you know you can't learn this matrix, this table, you can't solve the problem. Okay? Might possible you got minus five marks. So this is prediction. Machine will always predict it. It might say yes or say no. What we are, we will check reality. If TK, then true. If no, false. Yes or no. Bache kya karte hain? Bache kya karte hain exam mein? True positive value se likhte hain. Or yaha likhte hain blue. We likhte hain. True positive and true negative. That is wrong. It's not like normal table. Just check it out here. Prediction yes and no. Prediction yes hai. It's a positive sign. Reality bhi yes hai. It's a true sign. It's become true positive. Here, no. Okay, but prediction said yes. Prediction said yes. Okay, and DLT may kya hai? No. If prediction ne kaha hai yes, to kya hojega? Positive. Or reality may ho nahi hai, to true kya hojega? False. This become false positive. Then false negative, true negative. So, beta, just remember all these matrix properly, then we will solve the question. So how we are basically evaluating, making evolution 
for the model. So now we are find out accuracy. This is very important beta. It will check whether this machine is predicting accurate or not. So it might possible you got a question find out the accuracy of the AI model. Okay. It might possible they can ask what is the definition of accurate. We need to learn the definition of Accuracy is the percentage of correct prediction. Of correct prediction कौन सी होती हैं? The very first is true positive and second one is true negative. Both are the correct prediction. How we will find out accuracy? Accuracy will be in the form of percentage. Okay? Formula is accuracy equals to correct prediction upon total cases. So correct कौन से होंगे? True positive and true negative. और total cases क्या होंगे? True positive plus true negative. Plus false positive plus false negative, all four into hundred. So by this formula we got the accuracy. Clear? You need to learn this formula. Okay? Like true positive case is zero, true negative is ninety, total case is hundred. Okay? Now what you find out accuracy. So ninety plus zero upon hundred into hundred. This is ninety percent. Precision क्या होता है? Precision is a percentage of true positive cases and all Predicted positive cases. Okay. Precision equals to true positive upon all predicted positive. Precision क्या है? TP जो सही है, true positive है. But positive और भी है. True positive है, false positive है. So precision is TP upon TP plus FP into hundred. Then we have recall. Recall is also called sensitivity. Recall is defined as the fraction of positive cases that are correctly identified. It majorly takes into account the true reality cases. True reality. So recall equals to true positive upon true positive plus false negative. यहाँ पे hundred नहीं है. So recall equals to TP upon TP plus F. Which matrix is more important? Recall or precision? Cases where cause of false negative, false positive is very dangerous. Okay. Just think about it. You are making a model which can tell you whether it is find the forest or not. Okay. Now there is a fire, but machine said there is no fire. So it might no. It may be a very very wrong answer just because it might possible we can't stop the forest fire. Okay, so this is very important to check whether your machine is working properly or not. So these are a few points you can read it, but not too much. Now F1 score. This is the main F1 score. Question can be asked. We have made two A model. One said the accuracy of ninety five percent, okay, and F one score is zero point two percent, or it's only zero point two. So what you will select the very first model or the second model which shows the accuracy eighty percent, but but this is not saying only about accuracy. It is also saying F one score. F one score is one, okay. So what we will do? We will go with the F one score, not Accuracy, accuracy might be wrong. Okay, so we will focus on F1 score. F1 score also called F score or F measure is the measure of test or sorry test accuracy. It can be defined as the measure of balance between precision and recall. The F1 score is a number between zero and one and is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. A good F1 score means that you have to low false positives and low false negatives. So you are correctly identifying real threats and you are not disturbed. By any false alarms. Formula क्या है? F one score equals to two into precision into recall upon precision plus recall. And look at this case study prediction. This has become true positive and this become true negative. False positive and false negative. Over the question or the you can check later on. So from this table we got few value. T P and F three. T P prediction twenty two. Prediction Reality में 12 and 10, 12 and 10. So by which we can find out the F1 score. And the value of F1, F1 score should be from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. Should not be more or less. Then this is a scenario which we have to do. We have given a top table like this, and you have to find out the this uh, F1 score or might be accuracy. So the very first one is this column is called true positive. True negative, false positive, false. Negative. As per the data, we put the data and finally we got the output. Please, uh, it was for today video. 
we have discussed NLP and uh, this evolution and from tomorrow onwards from 4 to 5 very first we will revise our thing that is real skills and employment skills okay then in the evening from 4 to 6 or 4 to 7 we will revise all these things NLP, NLP and uh, that was evolution as well as a uh, few more things that are important okay so have a nice day be ready tomorrow with pen and paper all the best for tomorrow's lives Thank you.